Zote Soap. Hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And I've heard that you can catch catfish on this Zote Soap. And what I was told was that you cut it up in sugar cube sizes and put it on a hook and that you could catch catfish. And we're gonna test it out today along besides the bait we normally use and see if it makes a good catfish bait for us or not. Now, I've cut it up in sugar cube size and got me a tub full of it. We're gonna make us a trip to the river. But on our trip, we found an unwelcome guest. Ooh, we found us something you don't wanna have nothing to do with here. Big old rattlesnake. Lincoln, you ready to go catch a catfish? It may be messed up. We might do something different. See, it doesn't go. How come it works when you do it? Because I pulled some out and started going. Uh, oh, and I threw it right up in the limbs the first time. Ain't that something? Yours won't throw far enough. Mine throws too far. Ow! What you doing? Stuck that hook in my hand. Trying something a little bit different today. Got a piece of that Zolt soap on a hook. See what happens. I've heard you could catch fish on it. I'm gonna see if we can find out today. What's going on, boy? Catching a fish. Get him to the side of the boat so he don't hang up in that motor back there. Is it good one? Yeah. Oh! I'm trying to pull it Ooh, up. Oh, look at the bubbles. Uh, woo! Oh, you got a big old turtle. Oh, I got a turtle. A big old turtle. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had a flounder. He thought he had a flounder. Big old turtle. Woo! How about that? We're only about a hundred miles from salt water. <laughs> Look at the neck. It ain't no snake neck. Ah, there it comes. Told you it was gonna be hot. Hat on, you know, head busters. Bring my catch fish. I don't know. Got him. The what? I got him. You got him? Yep. It ain't that big though. Hot one, but it ain't the biggest. <laughs> Whole fryer fish. Got one? Yes, sir. Is he fighting? And you didn't want to come fishing with me today. Who said that? Are you going to get this thing to the boat or not? I don't know. Huh? Uh. Is he that big? He's pretty big. Woo, look at him. What a catfish Lincoln's done got upside the boat. Oh, He's in our other line, though.
What are you doing it again? Yeah. Uh. Can you flip him up in the boat? Look at you go, boy. Don't let him get in the motor. Oh, he's gonna tangle up in that other line. Yep. You stick at him? Yeah. And I got him off that line. You need to get him working back around at the other side because we've got all these limbs over here that's in our way. Me and Lincoln left the house this morning. Decided we was gonna catch some catfish real quick. No matter how long it took today. If I fall in, I'm dead. Can you pull him around to the other side? Pull him up over that motor and then harder. come to the right of the boat. Made progress. Good job. Now we just gotta, that's gonna break the pole. He sure knows how to bend the pole. There you go. Oh, it's a pretty good fisherman. Hey folks, this is Bill with Bill Reddick Outdoors, and I got my grandson Lincoln. We over in the river. And y'all had saw me cutting up this soap. Zoat or maybe zote. I, I'm not sure how you say it. And I've heard about people catching fish on it. And so we thought we'd try it out today. And we got six or seven catfish in the box. Not one bite on the soap. So today, it's not a good catfish bait. That Lincoln's been at it again. Come on, Christian. Come on. We're coming out of the river this evening, <laughs> and we met these nice folks. And they said they needed a little fish for a fry, so yes, we're going to donate them our fish this evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. God bless you. All right, now. Always remember, folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. See y'all.